I can hear you loud and clear. So give me one second. I can't see you though. Can you see me at all? Oh, okay. So yeah, we'll just do the audio then. Okay. So, uh, just to reiterate my, uh, Co-host right now is Matt Wadden. He will be joining us via Discord and audio only. How are you doing today, Matt? <laughs> yeah, uh, it kind of feels weird that we're still doing it via GAMP and everything, but I know a lot of people are going to be exciting, uh, excited to have it back next year. Let me fix this real quick. Okay. So unfortunately the viewers are not able to hear you. Let me see if I can fix this really quick. Uh, so, yeah, they should be able to hear you now. All right. Uh, viewers, are you able to hear Matt? Please confirm. <laughs> So, as but, the agents of the black sun versus there is good in him. So uh, I, I want to say that this is a match that a lot of people are familiar with. Uh, I know that once Hitco got nerfed, a lot of people transitioned over to there is good in him uh, as a mains platform. So being that Luke's on the table right away, Pat's not going to be able to flip on his first turn. Yes, uh, this is a very good matchup for there is good in him. This is probably the matchup you want to see the most. Uh, you start off with Luke. Uh, the only Imperial they have is the Emperor. Uh, uh, they could be playing Aura or Mithra Nudo as well. Uh, uh, those, those two are easy to kill. Yeah, uh, Pat is playing uh, Mithra Nudo. Uh, he did reveal it to the Quietly Observing. So that there is good and we'll keep the fourth generation bonus for most of the game, uh, unless they come after Luke. Looking at uh, Blaster Proficiency, Clash of Sabers as well. Uh, there is good and him going to be playing some senses as well. So mm -hmm. Dark Side won't have a sense monopoly with the Emperor out. Uh, the Dark Side here could either put Emperor straight at the landing platform and try to capture Luke. Uh, that leaves Emperor somewhat vulnerable, and you don't get the Shadows ping from being on Coruscant. Uh, or they could just try to go to Coruscant and kind of play a more standard game and leave Luke to drain for two at the docking bay and, and get the activation bonus. But uh, there is good in him should have a, should be play this very aggressively, uh, hopefully playing some kind of barrier cancelers as well. Mm -hmm. um, uh, the other question is if uh, there is good as him is playing any space, something like Tantive or. Uh, Han Chewie and the Falcon that could challenge Coruscant or uh, force the dark side to, to load up to defend Coruscant and uh, weaken itself on the ground. Chosen. The fate of a okay, interesting that so Pat did slide Shizor and the Vigo over uh, on his first turn. Uh, again, with Luke over at on Endor, I mean, all. Jeremy has to do is move Luke over to the docking bay. Now, do you, if you're Pat, do you really want to, do you fear the Nabrum at this point? 
Uh, you, you, sh you should. Uh, it's deck probably playing one, uh, so he, he may not have drawn into it, but if mm -hmm. he does, uh, it's really bad. Uh, you have the Zyzer's Bounty to stop you know, one guy from coming down, so you're not really worried about the deploy there unless he gets you know a magical hand where he finds a control tunnel vision or barrier canceler or something but uh, true th the neighboring could be a you know an early game big swing here um he's probably not not playing the uh well the card that grabs greedo that, that cancels it um if i'm if uta, i remember that uta yeah. to, uh uta Guta solo correct um I don't know, like, I feel like Utsugutsu Solo would be a good card in this match. Yeah, uh, it, it would be. Uh, okay. uh, and he, he may be playing a Tarkin's Orders as well. It's probably mm -hmm. not in the deck, but it's something that, that occasionally could show up. True. So, so going over really quick, uh, some of the other matches that are currently being played right now. Uh, see... Old Allies versus Map, uh, Winston versus Brad Kimple, uh, Brad playing Map, Winston playing Old Allies, uh, Ryan Jelson playing Throne Room versus Derek Jackson playing Invasion, uh, Drew Lichtenstein in, uh, is playing against Adam Raddick. Uh, Drew is playing No Idea. Adam is playing ISB. Justin Miyashiro is playing Hunt Down versus Garrett Larson. Currently playing Watcher Step. Justin Carulli is playing Diplo versus Brandon Beatty playing Hunt Down. Uh, Mike Turner against uh, Vic Vikram Bali. Mike Turner is playing Shadow Collective versus Throne Room. David Woods against Pierre. David playing Dark Deal versus Hyperdrive V. Scott Lingrell versus Rich Craft. Scott playing Court versus Legend. Chris Hall playing Dark Deal versus David Dredge with a Watcher Step. Uh, let's see. Nick Reich is playing Rops versus. Jeff Johns playing Diplo. Matt Scott playing Matt versus Zach Centerston. Uh, we have a Matt versus a WAP. Taco, uh, Bill Kafer playing Throne Room versus Steven Squarelock playing Ages of the Black Sun. So, any of those matches really stick out for you, Matt? Uh, I was surprised to see the Shadow Collective showing up again um, and up against Throne Room. Uh, that that might be an interesting one. Mm -hmm. uh, and then I I saw the uh, the Dark Deal objective of how that's being played, kind of as a replacement for Imperial Entanglements, but haven't se actually yeah. seen the deck. Can't entirely be sure. Yeah, I was gonna say we haven't seen any Imperial Entanglements at all so far. Uh, seen a few Shadow Collective. Seen a few. I'm a little surprised by the the that map is not playing as much as it is. Like we've seen a uh, a few hunt downs. Uh, so far, we've only seen one hunt down V. Yeah, I, I was surprised to see any hunt down V at all. It seems that mm -hmm. the regular hunt down is just better. And yeah, I, I, I was expecting more map as well. Uh, so here, uh, Ray with lightsaber comes down to the Zyzer's Palace site. And Luke moves over, so he's looking to try to drain next turn. Mm -hmm. um, he's probably got some, something to react in his hand or a Hujix. Uh, if, if Dark Side goes after it, he, uh, they're as good as him. Wants to do a lot of two for one trades, uh, kind mm -hmm. of kill off Dark Side's characters. Um, you could do the ping damage when it wins a battle, um, and it, it just has better characters as well. Uh, yeah, and I agree. Uh, we did have a momentary uh, glitch in the stream. The the GIMP server just froze on me for some reason. So, but it looks like everything is back up and working again. Uh, we did just see Pat get out the Shizor's Palace sewers, and we are in Pat's 
d deploy phase at this point. Yeah. So the dark side here wants to avoid these big battles where it's it's going to trade badly. Uh, get something set up in space, you know, with a barrier or really two mm -hmm. barriers in case the light side comes after it. Um, and then kind of do some drains for free, get some pings going. Um, and even if you lose this game by, if you lose by less than 10, you're giving yourself a good chance in the second match. Uh, you really don't want to get blown out, lose by, you know, 20 plus, which, mm -hmm. which they're as good as it painfully do. Um, that looks like Dark is going to go after Luke directly. Um, yeah, Django and R Singh coming down really yeah, quick. So is this really it could, comes down to what Light has in their hand? A uh, Clash of Sabers. I, I can't mm -hmm. see what his Force Pile. He's got two saved. He, yes, okay. he does have two saved, and that is showing a Clash of Sabers. Okay, R Singh's going to uh, fire at Luke. He draws a six, so that's that right off the bat is going to hit Luke. Yeah, then not not having the blaster deflection as well, uh, mm -hmm. which you're always threatening. Um, so yeah, that this hitting Luke is, is pretty big, uh, taking him off the table. Because um, you know, a, a Jedi, yeah, so a, a Jedi's resilience could get him back, which he, he's probably true as well. He loses the lightsaber. Oof! There goes the, there is the blaster deflection already. He draws it for destiny. Uh, he is going to hit Art of Sync here. Mm. But again, uh, Pat's drawing two destinies in this battle. Yeah, so he's going to have to burn a Hujix here, mm -hmm. um, or bur burn one of his uh, uh, his battle cards, a Clash or a uh, Blaster Deflection, to try to win this battle. Oh, there's there's the Monarch. Everybody's favorite card. <laughs> yes, uh, they're as good as him with starting and... off with Luke. You could sense those Monarchs early, but obviously not at this point. Yep, and there's an Emperor for the second Destiny, so that's an 8 total for Pat, bringing him up to 16. And Jeremy draws a 3, so... Yeah, unless he's got the Hojix, that's 7 in Overflow. Yeah, now, now if he does have a Hujix, one thing you could do is not draw Battle Destiny, leave Django, and go after him if you have somebody that he wouldn't mm -hmm. add a battle destiny against. Uh, but if he, he doesn't have a way to go after him, you obviously want to take him off the table. Uh, he's going to be able to draw Boba Fett likely uh, with Django's text when he goes lost. Yeah. Well, I mean, Django's going to go lost anyways because our Singh was hit. Uh, correct. But uh, one strategy is if you have Hujix, you don't draw battle destiny and then you can leave Django mm, for a yes. counter. Beat. Oh, yeah. I see but, what you're saying. You have to have the right cards in your hand to do that. You, you mm -hmm. may not. Okay, so he did have the Jedi's Levitation to take the hair into hand. He still drew a three. So again, it is uh, seven in battle damage, and it doesn't look like he has the Hojix because there goes Captain Cassian Andor to the Lost Pile. So Pat trading two cards for Luke the Saber and seven on top of that. So... Good yeah, start to the game for Pat. Yeah, that's a big swing. I'm surprised he didn't have something there. Mm -hmm. um, so you're, let's... you're always something that you do. But okay, so he loses Cassian Andor, Boss Nest Chamber, Wisa, uh, Wisa Escape Pod, Speak Yoda, Mass and uh, Impressive Enforcement. Okay, there's the Jedi's resilience. So he gets the Luke back, but like you said, the sabers in the lost pile. Yeah, it's not getting that back. No, it is under the Jedi's resilience, so I wouldn't be surprised if Pat throws out the come um, here, you big Howard, just in case. Because um, we we did see Jeremy play the Jedi's resilience, or uh, sorry, the Jedi levitations, so that's one point of retrieval. Yes, uh, he's got three shields out already, so he may be trying to save that last one. Mm -hmm. um, and with losing the boss Nash Chambers, his activation is going to be stuck at, at 12, uh, 14 if he can get Luke out. True. Um, uh, one one problem if, if he puts Luke on Coruscant is that an Emperor can go to the uh, Endor site and that would block Luke from draining or activating. Um, oh, yeah. So, That's a good point. Uh, as someone like uh, you said, he had Mitronudo as well could, could do that. So it's, it's risky to put Luke on Coruscant. Uh, while well, the Emperor is not on table yet. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, there goes another Arsene to the drain. Mm. And Bosk as well, both from the reserve deck. So Pat deciding not to throw away cards from his hand. Okay, so he did pay three, so he's got nine left. So uh, if you're Jeremy, do you go with Luke back to... Okay, there's Luke to the uh, Coruscant. Yeah, he's got some... Uh, some cards in his hand where he, he might want to go after an emperor or an emperor with somebody uh, at Endor, then uh, that could make sense. But um, that, that's the big risk with going here. Um, he still would be, would be draining for two here against for one, but uh, you'd expect probably Dark to go to space next or to try to get an emperor out, um, either to Coruscant for the ping or to, to Endor to block Luke. Yeah, being that Luke's now back on the table, if you're Pat, you're you're fine with that. Yeah, but he's only set up at one site there, which mm -hmm. is which is okay. Okay, and just sent a, the link in the chat for the. Uh, the multi twitch so if you want to watch multiple games go ahead and uh, click on that it is a good way to stay relevant on what's going on in the uh, during the mpc so i know chris gogolin really wanted to stream the uh scott match being that chris is a three seed and has the buy so okay oh, here we go java space cruiser going down to coruscant And there look, there's, there didn't look like there was a little alien in there. No alien leader, so. Jeremy got a free uh, verify. Okay. Whoa. <laughs> okay, Mithron Nudu coming down to capture Luke. Always love that, that animation worries me that something's going to happen okay so thrawn's now uh luke so now pat's going to have to lose a force each turn Baranga stomping down onto the space cruiser yeah and that's a trade you'll happily take with dark side here uh, to yeah keep luke off the table uh, yeah the one risk there is if, if light plays a barrier uh thrawn could be in trouble but uh, they're as good as him probably not playing barriers here mm-hmm um, and now um, you saw that Light had Hera in hand, so Hera would add Battle Destiny and Smith Renudo if uh, they have some kind of ship that can can fight. Mm -hmm. Okay, there's going to be a force loss right there to the Shadows Pain, uh, as the Emperor is now on the table. Okay, there goes a speak from his hand. So. I get. I, I'm going to guess that Pat's going to shuttle Thrawn up to space to keep the um, to keep him safe from a beat down here. Yep, and we see Pat do that. No, so with only uh, eleven force to activate, um, you could see uh, it's it's not really enough to get Tantive with two characters aboard. You mm -hmm. Could see a Hunt, a Falcon, and a Hera. Uh, but you, you're not going to see a, a Tantive plus Ray solo. That's it's, it's already 12. So um, you're a little safer here at Dark Side. Also, if you have a barrier, now you have the Emperor out. You could sense a barrier mm -hmm. cancel eventually. So Dark Side's actually set up pretty well right now. Um, and the light side losing the boss Nash Chambers means their activations can be stuck at 11 here, which hurts because it mm -hmm. makes it tougher to get two characters out in one turn. Yep, Pat loses one. Uh, he loses one because he has Decree on the table. And he's going to lose an Emperor off the top of his reserve deck, so... Yeah, Darkseid is definitely in a good position right now here. Okay. 
Let's see if Jeremy wants to drain here. He will if he drains. He draws drain for two. So I think if he if he doesn't drain here, he's going to try and come down with something. He knows that Pat has the she's horse bounty in his hand. So do you go? Do you drain? Do two damage and then wait another turn, or do you try and do something this turn? Do you try and force something? Yeah, if, if uh, the EPP Obi Wan or Qui Gon comes down, they're going to get hit with the bounty. So it'd be your second character that fights. Mm -hmm. uh, you you want to get that bounty out of the deck so, at, at some point, though. True. Uh, but you don't have enough force to to go after uh, the Vigo and Prince Zizer, um with that bounty coming out, though. And I would assume that Dark uh, Pat is playing barriers of some sort in the deck, like besides the the bounty. Yeah, uh, he doesn't have the free uh, the shield, the oppressive uh, enforcement. Mm-hmm. So he'd have to pay one for the the bounty and then not True. be able to ult the barrier. Okay, Jeremy's saying in the chat he didn't expect that. Uh, not sure. Oh, I think he. Uh, the imp decree I'm, I'm assuming he didn't expect to only cause pat to lose one okay so he does he does not drain so he will have the full 12 force to work with this turn yeah i think he may not expected luke to be hidden up in space oh that's who um, okay corn horn coming down against she's or the vigo yeah i don't think you bear uh bounty the vigo here you just let him go yeah, it's uh, Prince Zizer. You can't draw Destiny without six ability, so mm -hmm. a low score, and you're not worried about it at all. Now, did did we see Pat grab Boba Fett? Was he lost Django? I don't remember seeing that. I, I don't remember seeing that either. Uh, I'm there's... not sure if he, was, uh, if he saw, if he deployed something that turn and knew it wasn't there. Mm -hmm. uh, if he deployed the sewers that turn. So. Okay, there's the Obi-Wan coming down. And the bounty does follow. And looks like that's all. So leaving Ray at the other site, he doesn't lose lose one to Mitranudo, and if, mm -hmm. if Prince Zyper moves over, uh, Ray's threatening there. Uh, with all, with only five cards in hand, he can't. Uh, you're not as worried about a big beat there. Well, true. Um, now, I mean, Pat is flipped because uh, Luke is captured. The other thing is he still has the shadow stuff so he can draw another card. So he's going to get six cards in his hand, possibly. That's right. Uh, if he draws earlier, he's not getting that one ping in as well. So mm -hmm. now I wouldn't be surprised if Pat starts moving the emperor over to the Jedi council chamber. Yeah. That, and, that's where I would have expected the emperor yeah. to go. Um, Especially now with, with Obi-Wan out. It really was Qui-Gon's the only uh, mm -hmm. good EPP left. So, and now we saw a quite a mercenary and a Mandalorian mishap. So if Pat has Boa Fett, things could look really good here for him. Okay. He does put a card back, so he takes a little peek at his force pile. Yeah, this, I will say, like, Agents is a really strong objective. It, it is one to eat. It's easy to keep on the zero side, but once you're flipped to the seven side, oof. You just get so much fun things to do. 
But at the same time, it's not an easy objective to play because you got to remember a lot of stuff. Correct. Uh, it's helpful that he's, he's pulling force lightning so he can always have something to throw back. Mm -hmm. That's not a tough decision. Um, he's getting the attrition bonus as well. Okay, he shifts, in, shifts into his move or his deploy phase. So, let's see what Pat's gonna do here. Uh, okay, here we go. Boba Fett coming down. Now, again, that is only one destiny that he adds. So, i have still got the eight power edge and uh, the two destinies. He only and plus three attrition. Uh, mm -hmm. He's easily gonna. He should clear both characters. Yeah, but this, he's still got to worry about that saber. Mm -hmm. And Jeremy is showing two force saves in his force pile, so he could have a clash. Mm -hmm. What you'd really like here is is dark side is to have a sense in your hand. Uh, mm -hmm. that, do a lot of protection um you also have the sewers text that would allow you to get uh, prince sizer back true if you lose him here That's another Vigo. And Pat's taking his time here. I do like that. I mean, he doesn't really have to rush. So I I, I, I kind of like what he has set up here, but at the same time, that saber kind of frightens me. I, I think if he had some way of getting around Obi-Wan, like if he could get him out of the battle and not worry about the clash or the sorry combo here, he'd be in so much better shape. Right. And uh, Light Side has to decide to go after Boba Fett or, or Prince Sizer here. Mm -hmm. um, probably going to go after Boba Fett. Um, avoid a, cause the big battle beat down. But um, since Prince Sizer come back with the sewers, if you even if you kill him once. But sometimes it can be tempting just to try to uh, force Black Sun to flip back here. Yeah.
So it looks like Kendall Hallman was not the only player to play 12-card throne room today. Uh, Ryan Jelson is also playing 12-card throne room. Yeah, I actually expected more 12-card throne room than uh, the three-effect throne room. Uh, mm -hmm. Not a lot of good choices for what your third effect is. So, I've, I mean, I've seen people play Insurrection and Aim High plus... Uh, I must be allowed to speak to pool uh, the farm. And in fact, uh, Bill Kafer is currently playing this right now. Uh, he is playing it against a uh, Stephen Squarelocks, Agents of the Black Sun. So, a little interesting side note. Mm hmm. And Vikram Bally is also playing it. Mm. Uh, did the streams... It froze for me again. Yeah, it froze for me, because uh, we see that Shizor and Obi wan still on the table against Boba Fett, so. Yeah, so I'm uh, looking through the log here uh, on my screen. Um, and he looks like he Clash of Sabered Boba Fett during the battle, and then also hit uh, Prince Zizer. Mm-hmm. And, and exactly like I was saying, like if you're Pat, you have to play for the clash. Uh, now, I mean, Boba Fett is blocking that drain there. So it, it's not as detrimental. But still, you lost your you lost two Vigos and. Uh... Yeah, that, that's really bad because. Uh... Boba Fett's really bad on his own. He, he doesn't get a destiny. Mm -hmm. um, and it also looks like Darkseid only drew a battle destiny of one. So even with the plus three attrition, uh, Lightseid only lo lost Corrin. So that, that's yeah. uh, also very bad. But no, I mean, Boba Fett can't be battled here. So yeah. now once it's Pat's turn, he can battle against with Boba Fett. So... Uh, so there's a drain of two there. Dengar and Ellis and Hithra uh, go down. So yeah, and, and, and again, uh, Jeremy only has now eight force to work with this turn. So he he's still in kind of that. He's still really limited when it comes to force activation. That's and, right. They're and, a much uh, scarier deck when it's getting fifteen or sixteen a turn than when it's mm -hmm. getting ten or eleven. Okay, so there's now the battle plane. So he does get two more force icons. I mean, he does give Pat some uh, more force to work with. So, but being that he is so needy for force, it's he has to do it. So, and really quick, just checking out the sewer. Yeah, he doesn't have to occupy, but he he only can do. It's a once per game to exchange. So, yeah, you're right. He can get the Shizor back and then start doing more damage. Looks like he's just trying to verify his deck here. Mm -hmm. uh, probably not playing a, uh, a Famba version, although that <laughs> has existed at one point. I will say I've seen a lot of the Famba throne rooms recently, and I I, I do kind of like them. They're kind of cute, but I wish I would love to see some more love for the Gungans. 
something new, something different, you know? Yeah, it's, it's what you play when you want to beat Hunt down and do worse against almost everything else. <laughs> That's so. a true. That's a true statement. Now, I noticed that Jeremy hasn't used his Jedi Council Chamber pool. So, if he is playing Yoda, you would think that he gets out the Yoda and then uses the once per game to move over to the battle planes. So then he can start doing two more points of damage there. Yeah, we did see he he lost Yoda in that first battle, so he may That's not be true. playing. Uh, but he also could be using that pull there uh, for free. Um, mm -hmm. Okay, so yep, he does move Ray over in front of the Boba Fett. So now Boba Fett can move. He can battle. But again, Pat is going to be able to drain here next turn for one. Yep, and uh, that site's only a drain one for the light side, so mm -hmm. Starfleet doesn't care about giving that up. Now Jeremy's going to draw up a few cards. And he does save two again. Now, I don't know if that's because he wanted to save two to threaten another clash. Or he just wanted to stop at 12 knowing that Pat has Monarch somewhere in the deck. Yes, yeah, so he also needs it's a save force for his next turn. Makes his hand scarier if he can, mm -hmm. if he can get more out. Although the... The two uh, EPPs being out, those are the scary characters, so True. Uh, a bit less threatening uh, when they're both on table. And so the quiet costing seven as well. Mm -hmm. Now, I will say, uh, Jeremy does have Mandalorian Mishap in his deck. We saw him lose it to the first battle against Luke. The reason I'm bringing this up is maybe he's playing General Leia with her blaster, or Leia at all with a blaster rifle. And if that's the case, that's pretty good against this deck because these aliens don't have a lot of good defense value. If that's right, that's certainly something that, that he could be playing. Mm -hmm. um, if he's not playing Han Chewie and the Falcon, he'd be playing Solo as well, and he could play that from his Lost Pile. True. And there's the Monarch, so... It's like the... The lost version. Yeah, because Jeremy only has 12 cards in his hand, so... Okay, let's see what we we see. We have a sense. Ray, Tantive, Hear Me Baby. I think I can handle myself. Hera, Hojix, Barrier, Deflection, Don't Tread on Me, Jedi Levitation, and Padme. So, nothing really scary. But again, there's the Tantive and there's the Hera. And we see a sense, so... I mean, right there, that gives me a lot of good information against uh, what to do, because even though we didn't hit anything, now he knows what he has to, he's going to be facing down here in a second. Yeah, he knows he can just move Boba Fett away and, and he'll be safe. Um, well, you can move the Boba Fett away, but at the same time, you have to protect, like, I would actually move the Boba Fett up into space. Uh, for two reasons. One, you get an extra destiny in case he does come down to, uh, to the system with a Tantive, with Hera, and maybe a Padme. I mean, Padme wouldn't do anything, but you're, you're still drawing two destiny then. Yeah, I'd, I'd expect him to move over on the site uh, just to keep uh, being able to drain uh, for well, free, knowing that uh, there's no characters in hand that can that can go after Boba Fett if he puts you know one guy with him. Mm -hmm. There's no neighbor and there's no EPP Qui Gon. Yeah. Um, okay, and we see him exchanging the character. He's going to put Dosh Pure back into into the Lost Pile to get Shizor. So yeah, you yeah. put Shizor at the uh, the Epling Station. 
and then you move Boba Fett over, and you you're fine. Yeah, we get a shadows ping. He'll get the uh, objective ping back, mm -hmm. um, and he'll get the Mithra Nudo ping if the characters move over. Yeah, um, and light slide's only draining for one there, so he's uh, he'll be doing damage, and he he just wants to avoid avoid a big battle where he could lose a lot. Uh, yeah. And get his you know, several pings of damage in a turn while only taking one or two, and you know, he can win this game by you know, 15 or 20 by doing that. Yeah. Though with the, the Monarch out of the deck, uh, Light Side can, can draw up more than they're looking at not having enough cards left in their mm -hmm. deck to do something with it. So I hear me, baby, and uh, like a don't tread on me that he could easily put back, though. Pat currently looking at his force pile. And there's the shadows ping. Mm -hmm. okay. Jeremy throwing away a blaster deflection. He's not really worried about Pat coming down with any weapons or anything right now. Uh, I mean, we saw two Aura Sings go to the Lost Pile, so that makes sense. Uh, drops down Cad Bane, so, I mean, that, that's pretty good. That's really good now. Yeah, he just really needs to stack one site, uh, and he can win, uh, win a Ping and Drains War from there. That slides on over. And I think we got a little bit of an echo, Matt. All right. Uh, I'll turn. I, I think I fixed it. But yeah, Boba Fett sliding on over is pretty good. Fett's going to have to lose one. Up oh, there goes a Gick. Uh, I mean, I don't think the Gick's going to come in and play, but you never know. Yeah, probably not at this point. Um, the dark side's just got to play around that, which you, mm -hmm. you can do, knowing that you're not facing a threatening hand here. Yeah, and, and again, you're you're 100 correct. Like, Pat can easily target wherever his characters go with Thrawn. I mean, that's going to cause an extra ping. He's going to cause extra ping with shadows on his turn, and then consolidate. Yeah, and being that. Lysad has no real characters to come down with. I, I mean, we could see him go down with, like, Hera and Padme to the, the battle planes to try and force a Drain of Two, but that's all he's really got. He's got no characters outside of that in his hand. I mean, he does have a Ray, but she's already on the table. Yeah. Uh, and in space, yeah, the, the Vigo and the piloting instructor is enough fodder that you need mm -hmm. two high destinies to, to clear all three of them. Yeah. And even if Luke dies, um, Light Side would have to get him back out. They might be playing a second Luke, uh, but he's not yeah. in their hand. Uh, and that would take away the uh, both the Shadows ping and the There is Good in Him ping. Yeah. Or it would take away the, uh, the There is Good in Him ping and only the Shadows ping, if, or the, uh, sorry, the Black Sun objective ping only if mm -hmm. Luke comes back out. So. Now, I, again, I will say, I, I really think Pat needs to start moving the Emperor over to the JCC. Again, with seeing that your opponent has no characters in his hands to come down and threaten the Emperor, you could easily have started moving him over. Especially when you're getting Force Lightning into hand. Yeah, he, he may not want to without Gek, knowing that uh, Light Side could draw more over and he won't get him True. over there for two turns, so... May, it may be a risk that he doesn't want to take right now. 
I'll say he's got the most tantive, uh, presumably here on Padme. Um, yeah, it just feels like he's trying to force something right now. Yeah, he does have the barrier in his hand in case, uh, you know, if Dark Side comes back the next turn. Yeah. Um, but he, he's going to be spending 12 to get everything out and one to battle, so he's not going to yeah. be able to drop out much here. Okay, there's Hera. And there's the pet, May. Yep, coming down for exactly, as you called it, 12. His other option is to shuttle up Ray as a additional pilot mm -hmm. and fourth his fodder after this turn. Um, and he actually wants to lose Ray because he has another one in his hand. Um, I believe that Vigo's forfeit four and the piloting instructor's a five. Um, the dark side could also just lose Mithranudo um, to take Luke out as well. Um, mm. Oof, yeah. Draws two fives. Yeah. Yeah, that, that's very good for him to be able yeah. to take out all the characters on board. Okay, Pat draws believe... two. Yeah. I mean, it becomes a five because of quietly observing. But I want to say that's gonna at least that's gonna only make uh, light side lose hair, uh, Padme. Correct. Uh, uh, the Mithranudo, I don't believe, is the Black Sun agent, so he only gets plus two attrition. Mm -hmm. uh, no, Mithranudo is because of uh, the quietly observing. Quietly observing, yeah. Uh, still only plus three. So uh, mm -hmm. if, if Dark Side draws a five that five or six there, then uh, it's much much worse. But. Uh, yeah, so, so Luke escapes to the use pile here. Mm -hmm. uh, and there goes the Vigo. So Thrawn and Vigo go away. Yeah. And now what's nice is, for at least for light side, Hera's, Hera doesn't add a destiny now. So That's he's right. he's only getting one destiny up there. Dark side's still flipped. So... But yeah, I, I agree. They like putting shuttling up Ray it would be the smart move here because you get the extra forfeit. She goes off the table, and you can play the second one somewhere. So, correct. Uh, Especially when you just use almost all your force to putting the two characters that you could play onto the table. So now we, I mean, unless he draws a character here, he doesn't have anything in his hand. Right. Uh, he does have the Luke in his deck, which, but I think it's too far deep that he'd be redrawing that. Anytime mm -hmm. soon. Okay, he is in his move phase. He is saying he's thinking about what he can do. And like we said, we know he has a barrier in the hand. Now, if he doesn't draw any characters here, or if he doesn't draw any cards, if you're Pat, I'm moving th uh, the Emperor over, start sliding, trying to slide him over into the JCC. Yeah, I'd, I'd definitely move him over one this turn. Yeah. Ah, Pat playing Boyer here, seeing if his opponent wants to grab it. And he knows that there's two Weeses in the deck, so that's going to be two more cards lost. Yeah, at least oh, two. Okay, there's the sense. Mm -hmm. Pat has his own sense. Yeah, I'm surprised the... Uh... With only two uh, shields out that we didn't see a, a wise advice. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, so the sense is going to go through for Pat, so he's, he's going to go and be able to play the voyeur. Now, what's inter what's even worse for the, the light side is he grabbed the sense, so he can only he's if he moves, he's not going to draw anything. Uh, you you got to think he's going to keep that one card in the deck uh, in his force pile. No, uh, yeah, he's he lost Ray from hand, so he's mm -hmm. not moving. To drop. Yeah. So he's going to keep the one card in his force pile because he's got the barrier. So, so if you're Pat and you have like two characters in your hand, you play them both to space, knock out Hera out of space, and Lightside has nothing in his hand he can do in his next turn. That's right. Also, the attrition bonus, you might take out the Tantive as mm -hmm. well. Yeah, and Pat's just going to keep playing the... He's just going to keep using the objective to put the Force Lightning back in his hand to check his Force Pile. Okay, so uh, again, while we're uh, in Pat's Activate phase really quick... I did say earlier this morning that I was going to be doing some raffling off of uh, some uh, the Hollow Theater Hero pack. So for all who, everybody who's watching right now, those packs again are going to include V cards, uh, Star Wars actual Star Wars cards, and special Hollow Theater themed cards as well. Uh, so think of like the Reflections Four stuff, but more Hollow Theater themed. So I'm actually going to do one pack right now. Uh, I should have did one earlier, so I'm actually going to offer the first two people who can name me the seven sides of all ten objectives from Special Edition will get a pack. And Matt, you can you can do this too if you wanted to. <laughs> so the the seven side of all ten of the Special Edition objectives. Yep. It's not going to be. I'm not going to give these away for uh, easily. Yeah, I, I probably know like eight or nine of them, so. Yeah. Okay, we got one. Okay. Okay. I could only come up with seven offhand, so. Okay, so I'll do another one. So, kiss my Wookiee. Uh, I'm checking over your answers right now. Looks like he's only got nine there. Oh, no, I might, might have all ten. Okay, so one, two, three, four. Uh, he's got five, ten there. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yep. Yep, yeah, no, you got it. Kiss my Wookiee. Uh, I'm trying to think of who this is. Is, it, is that is that Brad? I can never remember Gemp names. Okay, so Pat uh, went in out of his control phase. Uh, he did drain for the one. Oh, Wayne. Okay, Wayne, do me a favor. Send me a PM 
on t- into uh, the forums, and I'll get you your uh, with your address and everything. Uh, s- tell me that you won a pack of uh, Hollow Theater Heroes with your address, and I will get you a pack as soon as we get everything printed out. Okay, so they're uh, so Pat. Okay, we see Pat play the Vigo. He play he uses the Shadow Ping. There goes a Rebel a Leia a Rebel Princess off the top of. Jeremy's deck. Yeah, that's another card that he really would have wanted in hand. Mm-hmm. At minimum, causes a several force uh, differential swing. Okay, and Gary coming down to the space cruiser. So. I mean, I, I like the Gurry. She does cost six, but she has nice forfeit. So if Jeremy was to draw a five here, you just lose the Gurry. And she adds another plus one to the attrition. So Okay, there's the barrier. Yeah, also, I don't like why he grabbed sense if he's just going to play do or do not on the next turn. That yeah. Waste, wasted a force and wasted a grab. There's no reason for Dark to battle here either. No. Because... I mean, you could move Cad Bane up to the Space Cruiser, slide the Vigo over, and again, because your opponent has nothing, say, like no characters in his, for- or in his hand, you really don't have to do much. So I think you move the Emperor over, you slide the Vigo over, or you throw down to Afra. Did he have any droids he can get back here? Oh yeah, P fifty nine. He currently has uh, 22 cards left in his hand plus life force. So, and he is looking at winning by the high teens. Uh, mm-hmm. Unless light can get something, uh, can do something here and try to drive it down to the low teens or uh, or below 10. So in a good shape, but nothing guaranteed for round two. He's also not taking the there is good in him ping anymore either. So I know we just announced the uh, hollow. Th- okay, so he's going to shuttle Boba Fett up. Yeah. I- I don't know. I like what Pat's doing right here. I mean, light side is only going is only draining for one. Yeah, I think light side here just moves his two characters over and, and drains and, and mm-hmm. knows that it's going to be going to be gone. And being that Thrawn isn't on the table, you don't have to worry about the ping damage from Thrawn. That's right. So, I will. Uh, so, for those who are watching and who wants a chance at winning these uh, Hollow Theater Hero Pack, a new one of the new cards included in these packs will be a foil Japanese Executor Hollow Theater slip. So, 
If you want a chance of winning a foil Japanese Ulvier Slip, make sure you tune in and get ready for another uh, contest for, or another chance to win later. I still got three. three. I've got three to give out today. Yeah, well, I've got Jedi levitation is really going to help here. Yeah, uh, getting something back. Assuming that, uh, even if he gets sensed, he's going to cause you know three damage from the sense. Um, yeah. Okay, he takes Le Le Leia Rebel Princess, and I, I like him taking Leia Rebel Princess because you throw her down in front of Shizor, Cad Bane, and Vigo, and then yeah, you, you saw that. Uh, Jasper is already in the lost file. Uh, uh, the P Emperor can't move there. Nope. And... P59's uh, over at the JCC. Uh, Guri's up in space, so it's going to take Pat one turn. So you drop her down and you pull your uh, simple tricks and nonsense shield. That's right. Um, yep, there's a thing I, I can. I... Yeah, that's good. Getting a card back in his, mm -hmm. in his deck, yep, and cause extra damage. Uh, yeah, yeah. You could also just use Leia to cancel the drain at the at the Jedi Council Chamber. Um, True. Uh, especially if you don't think Leia is going to survive as long. Um, mm -hmm. There could, I guess, be a Forlom IG eighty eight. Um, I don't think we've seen either of them yet, but those, no. those are other droids that could potentially be in the deck. Uh, could be worried about um so this is this is good just causing extra damage and, and getting that differential down which is mm -hmm. you know very important in the first game uh every differential counts you know so he did have a sense in hand but he didn't want to lose three to cancel the Jedi Levitation. Mm -hmm. Okay, it looks like uh, Ryan Jelson and Derek Jackson are on Game 2. Uh, Bill Kafer, along with Steven Swerlock, are also on Game 2. Uh, we have a... Ryan Jelson is playing ISB. Derek is playing uh, Light Side Senate. Uh, Taco Bill is playing Agents of the Black Sun. And uh, Steven is playing There's Good in Him. So, exact same matchup as this one. Yeah. Okay, so, I don't know. I don't like Leia going there. No, he does uh, get the plus one force drain from Leia there. So oh, that's true, fly. yeah. Uh, but, yeah, he really should be going up, uh, canceling out Prince Zizer uh, there. Well, and the other thing is, oh, okay. I, I forgot, uh, Shizor just has to be on the table to stay on the seven side. Correct. I think he's still at a battleground, even with zero ability, so the ping would still, mm -hmm. still count. Yeah. But yeah, you, you could block that drain and, and cancel or, or do simple tricks for the other drain. Uh, okay. Oh, so he, he's going after the Emperor. Um, Dark still has a shield pull here, so... Yeah. Really, the Emperor just needs to move away, and a Coward Shield comes out, and, and Obi-Wan is useless there. Well, no, you have to get rid of Hera and the Tantum first. That's right. He's getting uh, two Battle Destinies and plus three Attrition, so I, I think that's... Yeah. Uh, yeah, that's... That's going to happen. And he, le he shuttles Hera down, okay. Yeah, he did see the Hujix in his hand, uh, and he knows that the Tantum's going to die. Yeah, um, he needs to draw five to kill anything there anyway. So mm -hmm. I, I think that's the right choice. Yeah, but I mean, you still want to kill something up in space because yeah. once you, once Pat gets rid do, of the Tantive, he, he can just start shuttling guys down to reinforce do, all those. Uh, yeah, you need to draw five to break the immunity anyway. So. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, but what what's Harry gonna do on the ground? <laughs> I mean, he's set up here to just kind of drain two there for a while, which will get the differential yeah. down. Yeah. Uh, he's only gonna be he, uh, that drain of three. He can cancel twice. Uh, mm-hmm. 
And if Dark has anything in his hand, um, you know, Hera, Hera provides fodder for that. True. Yeah, I, I just really don't like moving Obi Wan over. That's um, really no benefit to that. Mm -mm. The Emperor, you want to move him over to the Jedi Council chamber anyway, just to back up who's there already. Yeah. Yeah, light side still does have 24 cards left in their hand plus life force. So it's, it's going to take a while to, to wane that down. So yeah, uh, even if he just sits on a drain of two and he's taking um, even two in drains and a, a couple in, uh, uh, he can get that two going through for a couple turns and probably get this under 10 now as well uh, with Leia uh, essentially giving him an eight force swing mm -hmm. uh, or seven since you had to deploy her. But uh on the Jedi Council Chamber, that's that's big. Um, here's a Tarkin's bounty, your card. Um, I don't think that would work. That when it yeah. Came into play. No, if uh, Tarkin bounty comes out, it does uh, negate her ga that game text. Uh, does it only negate it with when the, where there's an Imperial, or I, I don't remember the exact text on it. Honestly, so don't, I don't remember it either. <laughs> yeah. Uh. Oh, he's using the Leia to cancel the drain of one. I don't like that. Uh, yeah. He may have drawn some cards in his hand that he can go after the Jedi Council Chamber. That's that's all I can really think of why he he would use it to cancel the drain of one. It also puts more cards in his in his in his deck uh, if he does need that. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, it it doesn't cancel. So she can't cancel a, a drain where there's an Imperial. Yeah, uh, so she, she's used her text. It won't come into play now. But even if it did. Uh, it only affect the emperor, so mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. he actually gets one force back this turn. Uh, getting two back with Leia and only uh, losing one to the Black Sun Ping, and then he'll lose. He may lose one to a Shadows Ping as well. Um, okay. Oh, dark side here. Push. Yeah, that, that's really good. He, he wants to get either if he has a second gig or. A character um, in case light side has a, a Qui-Gon with Saber that could go after the Jedi Council Chamber that, that's that's mm -hmm. where your biggest liability is uh, and if you take a big beat down there and then you're you could be worried about losing the game at that point or, or kind of getting into that single different uh, a single digit differential where you know, game two is going to decide everything You also could be looking for a barrier as well to, to protect you there. Uh, so Probot goes to the sewer. Um, I don't know if I like the Probot going to the sewer. I would have actually put him either at Endor or Naboo. Threaten the Drain yeah, of I, Two. I there. And you still get the Shadows Ping because it doesn't say they have to be on a course on Battleground, just a Battleground. Yeah, I, I probably would have put him at the Endor docking bay and then moved him over. Mm -hmm. um, well, and you, he's training. You don't even need uh, to move him over. He can just go right to the the hut. Uh, if you put him at the docking bay, you can do the shadows ping and then move him over. Oh, yeah, that's a good point. Um, uh, the only worry there, if uh, I think what he's going to do is move him to be with uh, the Prince Sizer stack. Um, that's, that's the droid we weren't thinking about earlier that could cancel Leia's text. Um, so he, he's probably worried about Leia moving to that site. That's a good point. Um, that That's probably what he used the force push on as well. Mm -hmm. um, 
I think Light Side still still should have moved over there because there's no scary characters there. It's just a bunch of yeah bunch of power, um, and you have the lightsaber as well. Um, and if you had Obi Wan there, you could have been drawing two destiny. Yeah. Okay, so there goes the Tantive. And there's the Hojix. Yeah. I mean, I expect Probot and the Emperor to move over. Um, and you're just worried about Aphra and, and P-59 out there. And yet, uh, Coward comes out, so that obi wan is going to be useless there. I think it really comes down to what Light Slide had, has in his hand here, and if he can mm -hmm. challenge Aphra and P-59, well, or if he's just try to drain for two and get the differential down. So looking at some of the stuff that he had when we saw the Monarch, and I'm actually going to go try and go back to that really quick. Uh, can't actually go back that far. Yeah, I actually don't think much of what he has is still in his hand. We've either seen it or it's been lost, and he did mm -hmm. draw a few last turn. Um, might have been like the Hear Me Baby or the uh, the Don't Tread on Me. I don't remember if he lost those. or. Yeah. Because I don't think he, he hasn't used the Hear Me Baby to pull his shield, and you would think he pulled the shield before losing it. So... Right. Um, I mean, he still could be afraid of a hidden weapons here, but I don't think he's going to try to fight the Boba Fett site. Um, it's mm -hmm. possible that Dark could move all their characters over, try to go for one big battle, but I think that's kind of a risky move for Dark. Uh, you'd rather um, you'd rather just take that, that drain up two, and um, Dark's doing four, five, you do seven damage if you get a Shadow's Ping out. So. Mm -hmm. And there's the Hear Me Baby. Yeah, so he's got five on the bottom of his deck, at least. And he plays simple tricks and nonsense. I mean, that's not going to do anything right now. Yeah, he's, he's probably uh, thinking if he moved Leia over, but the droid there will, will stop mm -hmm. that. Um, this is, again, why moving over last turn would have been a, a better move. Um, yeah, one hundred percent. I agree. He still does have uh, twenty three cards left. Uh, hey, he's not he's not in terrible position, but I mean, just based on the board presence right now, he it it's he's still in a little bit of a predicament. I mean, he still can pay for the pay three to drain for two at the uh, the palace. Yeah, he's just looking at taking a six or seven force loss next yeah. turn. Yeah. Uh, or Dark kind of moving everyone over to that, that one site. Mm -hmm. uh, if they have more characters. Um, and they don't want to take that extra damage. See if there's any other games. Uh, mascot and uh, where's that thing? Now oh, there's Luke going down in front of Afro and P fifty nine. Yeah, it's interesting. He's going there. Uh, won't we'll flip flip the objective back, but I think he's looking at attacking there and then yep. Lando as well. Captured. Yeah. Um, Luke could actually get captured by the Emperor next turn, and that would start that one damage. Well, no, Luke, uh, the Emperor can't move over. Oh yeah, he, he could move Luke over, though. Uh, yeah. I, I don't... Uh, Luke's kind of useless at that site on his own, so that... Mm -hmm. uh, could be why. Okay. He's getting... Uh, he's getting 12 plus 2 here against... Oh, uh, wow. I bet he kind of wishes he would have had the... Uh, 
he would have shot at Luke because that would have hit Luke. Okay, there goes the draw your fire and Chewie off the top of the use pile. Uh, yeah. Really quick, we have three other games currently on ma uh, three other matches on game two. Uh, we've had Pierre and David. They're currently being played. It's a Bring Him Before Me versus Profit match. Uh, Justin Carulli versus Brandon Beatty. Uh, it's Ages of the Black Sun versus There Is Good in Him. And then we have uh, Matt Scott versus Zach Stevenson, I believe. Uh, Stenerson. And that is a QMZ versus Matt match. Yeah, it's just really brutal destinies here. Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, Lightside's going to win, but at the same time, that's going to clear uh, Lightside. So, I mean, the JCC is going to be cleared. So, I mean, yeah, the Emperor could slide over. Well, uh, Luke will still be alive. Lando oh, still yeah, has, that's right. Uh, but he's only going to have to lose one of his characters there. Um, P he's got to lose P-59. Yeah, it's only only drawing a four is, is extremely painful there. You really need yeah. to kill both characters. Um, and then he could move Luke and Obi-Wan over, um, potentially. Mm-hmm. Um, he still does that one uh, uh, conflict damage, so that the differential is coming down some, and he, he's going to have a good shot in, in game two. The question is, does he want to move Obi Wan over? Oh, yeah, I was going to say if he moves Obi Wan over, and if he moves Obi Wan over, and then Ray, the Emperor is stuck. Now, the Emperor, you're not too worried just facing one character, though. I mean, That's you might true. lose him. Uh, yeah, I, I thought he moved Obi-Wan over to the to where his other characters are in case his dark mm -hmm. side moves all those characters over. Yeah. He's probably trying to, to draw up to find another character, though. Um, saw him. Yeah, he drew Bright Hope and Anakin for Destiny. Oof. Yeah, yeah. something he could he could have done there was use the uh, Jedi Council Chamber tech to deploy Yoda. That mm -hmm. would have at least cycled the five into the mix. Yeah. Okay, Pat uh, activate everything so. Yeah, losing Yoda early was also pretty tough on him. Um, yeah. Yoda's in your deck, you can defend that site much more easily. Okay, so we're going to see drains of 1-1 one and one here. Yeah. You get one ping damage and probably one shadow damage, depending mm -hmm. on how he moves guys around. Um, okay, there goes a 6 off the top of the deck. Okay, there's a Leia as well. So he's playing two versions of Leia. Hmm. Now, time, time is getting a little close here, though. Uh, I know both players are under 13 minutes, so... And, Right now, Pat's sitting at 10 minutes, so... Yeah, Pat's got to play fast here. Mm-hmm. Because uh, he, he's going to win if... Uh, he, does, he doesn't want to take that differential loss. No. Yeah, there, there goes the, the Qui-Gon with Saber. That, that hurts a lot as well. That's what character that he really needed here. Uh, yeah. He could also just drop something at the battle planes if he had anything. Mm-hmm. But it is tough for there is good at him to lose the battle planes or the uh, boss Nash chambers early. Um, it says activations limited and then not being able to find the characters. Oh, and I think this game really came down to that first that early attack on Luke. 
yeah, uh, where he took the risk that um, you know there wasn't a clash or uh, or something that could it could make that go really badly, uh, mm-hmm. killing Luke, and that that kind of set the tempo there. Whereas uh, if he has blaster deflection and clash in that battle, then that that kind of ends the game for Darth in that very early on. Yeah. Okay. So Afra's going to move out of the JCC. I mean, she really wasn't doing anything in there, anyways. So. Yeah. Uh, I'd like to get another drain of two in here. Mm-hmm. Uh, they could move Luke over to, to cause that one ping. Uh, and then probably move Obi Wan over uh, to either side. So Pat's not going to move anybody over. So he is only he's just going to be using the Shadows of the Empire to draw a card instead of doing ping damage. I was going to say, yeah, he did the ping damage, and then he moves Cad Bane. He could have moved Cad Bane over, then did the ping damage. Yeah, it's an easy thing to forget, though. Yeah. Uh, it's also drawing up a lot. Um, the differential's going to be pretty limited. Uh, I mean, he, he's probably got a bunch of use interrupts in his hands. I mean, I know one of them is a, fo- a Force Lightning. Uh, we do know he can put a card back with the objective. Oh, there's a Cold Feet. Yep. So. Yeah, this is again where we're drawing sense really hurts because you could could t- take a differential away otherwise. Yeah. Okay, so here we go. In my side, he activates everything, so we're not going to see a battle. But again, right now it's coming down to he is going to do two points of damage, but at the same time, I mean, Pat, like I said, needs to hurry up. Okay, there's the target's orders. I mean, that would have been a good card for him to draw or to uh, grab with this grabber. Yeah. Because now Pat can just keep cycling that using shadows and everything. Yeah, it looks like he's going to try to go fight now mm-hmm. at the, uh, the next site and move Obi-Wan over as well. Uh, Darkseid can just avoid this, though, by moving away Yeah. Um, and, and drawing into Tarkin's orders every turn. Um,
Everybody in front of uh, the Shizor Doom stack. Yeah, if his if his blaster hits Probot, then the battle ends. So uh, he's actually fairly safe there, unless there's another droid somewhere. Mm -hmm. And Obi Wan slides in front of the palace. That's yeah, so only a drain one site now. Dark's just going to move guys over anyway. Well, do you move over to where Cad Bane is, or do you move in front of Obi-Wan? The only thing with Obi-Wan is you're worried that uh, he has a blaster proficiency to kill Zizor. Um, mm -hmm. Well, I think but... what you, I mean, you could move Shizor over to Cad Bane and then move the rest of them over in front of Obi-Wan. That's right. It's only a drain of one, so you're not, not too worried about it, mm -mm. though. You really just want to cycle the Tarkin's orders. Um, yeah. You're not going to take damage here. Uh, and he's still going to be doing uh, three or four a turn. Doing four with the Shadow's Pink. Drain one at the sewer. No, four damage means you're going to win in four turns, uh, unless light can do something about it. So those who are watching right now, it looks like uh, Jerry and Justin Desai are going to be doing a stream as well. So they'll be covering parts of the, the other games starting here at the 1 o'clock hour. So be on the lookout for that. Okay, there's the Vengeance of the Darks Prince. So yeah, Pat's doing pain damage right now. So, yeah, he's definitely able to get that four damage in, like you were saying. You no, know, he uses the text to move over to where there's a bounty, so... Uh, it's possible he might just go for Obi Wan to try to end it here, but yeah. And there's Ray Reese, who's a bounty hunter. So yeah, he's gonna get two destiny. He's gonna get three destiny there. Yeah, you just I, it could be a second clash. I, I saw one played. I don't remember mm -hmm. seeing another one go down. But I think it's just, just kind of a risky move because uh, he shouldn't be taking any damage with the Tarkin's orders, but. Um, it's just if, if Boba Fett gets clashed, then you you could lose the game here. Uh, even, even if you don't lose the game, you're you're gonna take take a lot of damage you don't need to. Uh, and if Boba Fett doesn't get clashed, it's gonna end, and you're gonna win by ten, but probably win by ten, anyways. Yeah, I think this is just an unnecessary risk by Pat. Yeah. But <laughs> I, I will say, knowing Pat, he he kind of likes to take unnecessary risks. <laughs> well, he swings for Reese. Uh, maybe you think, knowing he has got bad destinies and he's got to hit something. Mm-hmm. But again, if he hits Ray Reese and has the Clash or the Sari, Boba Fett's not doing anything. Yeah. It could still be sensed if there's another one around. It just costs, you know, three force yeah. loss for that. Um, yeah, but he, do he doesn't have one, so this game's going to end right here. Um, yeah, it's, I'm sure he's been throwing back high destinies as well. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, light should just lose their whole uh, life force here. Um, I agree. 
they're looking at a loss only by well, 10. I mean, light side or dark side, yeah, you're looking at a loss of 10. And again, Pet could be able to start putting some cards back into from his hand. So, yeah, I agree. Like, he, if he just loses everything, the game's over and you just move on to game two. You cut your losses and you. You say GG, cut your losses, and move on. Yeah. I mean, that's not a terrible strategy. I mean, this is... No, he's giving up the one retrieval with Sizer's Bounty. That's that's bad. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and aim high is not on the table, so Pat doesn't have to pay anything. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, still, 11 is not bad i mean it could have been a lot worse uh, especially when we saw that early f turn beat down on luke mm -hmm. and now he's just gonna lose seven here and he's gonna give dark another uh, chance to uh mm -hmm. put something back uh, in his fourth pile uh, he might be thinking that dark can't move away from, from prince uh, prince zizer um uh, but all he has to do is move the probot away. Uh, and there, there can't be a battle there. Yeah. Um, the only thing is, I mean, he could lose two cards to... To yeah, keep the fat back. Yeah. Yeah. And then uh, they get him up to 12, and then another card uh, to look at his fourth pile would get him to mm -hmm. 13. So looking at losing by 13 instead of 10, and that, that's really where the differential matters the most in between that kind of 10 and 15. Yeah. Uh, so. Whereas it, it, it won't matter as much if you lose by three or four, if you lose by, you know, 26 or 27. It's uh, a lot of games get decided by 10 to 15. So every point's mm -hmm. going to matter. Um, looks like he's probably going to move. Oh three. yeah. He moves for free. I forgot about that. Yeah, his Black Sun agents move for free, and then he just puts Bubble Fett back into his use uh, into his uh, life force, so he'll be up to twelve. Mm -hmm. Not a bad play. Yeah. Twelve, and then you have thirteen with throwing one back, um, and even if he loses two from a drain, that's mm -hmm. just going to be two from hand. Yeah. Um, probably didn't find the uh, the Tarkin's bounty, so no. Uh, but if he did, that's that's even better. And Pet does realize he can put Bubba Fett back into the deck, mm -hmm. so let's see. Let's, uh, let's say Jeremy said had no choice but to, to pull Luke there. Yeah. Um. I don't know, like, him deploying Luke there, what cost him the game was drawing the four. Yeah, if he does some overflow there, uh, it, it, it would help, and me of getting Luke captured, even. Mm -hmm. It's just saving Leia to cancel that drain twice instead of canceling the drain of one. Mm -hmm. I agree. Like, there was no reason to uh, cancel that drain of one there early on. I mean, definitely, I mean, there was definitely some choices that I didn't agree with, but at the same time, you know... Uh, Also, these kind of little mistakes, you know, losing by 13 instead of by 10. Uh, mm -hmm. Those things can, can add up as well. Uh, I was going to drain two here. Oh. Yeah, so he's actually going to lose by 15 now. That's rough. Uh, so looking at it moving from losing by 10 to 15 is, is a giant swing. It's going to play a huge role in the second game.
I think you know, a lot of players that don't really play differential much probably aren't thinking mm-hmm. about this kind of thing. No. Um, yeah, I agree with you on that. Looks like there are a few. Uh, looks like there's some other matches that are still going on in the game one. Uh, Justin Miyashiro is also, it looks like, on game one. And we're about to end this game, so. But it looks like everybody is on game two right now. All right, Dan, I'm, I'll be back in a couple minutes. So. Okay. Okay, thanks to Matt for joining us a little bit. So. Again, let's see. Pat has to do four points of damage to end this game. Uh, so he should be able to get... Yeah, he should be able to do uh, four points of damage here with the Shadows Ping... And the uh, the drains. So looks like Pat is going to win. He's going to win by 15, I want to say. And that should do it for game one. Uh, so uh, I don't know if the players are going to take a quick min- uh, quick break or anything. Uh, so once we find that out, we'll let you know. But it looks like we got a bunch of other games going on right now. So... Yeah, we're going to have a lot of action going on today. Uh, just as a surprise, Jerry might show up and uh, take control of the stream after the uh, the, one p- uh, the 1 o'clock Eastern time. Uh, unfortunately, I only got two hours of sleep. So I'm riding, riding it pretty interesting. It's, it's, it's going to be a fun day for me. So... Uh, again, Pat won by 15. He had 20 in his loss piles. Uh, Jeremy had 46. So, congrats to Pat on game one victory. Let's see what happens in game two. Uh, let's see. So it looks like Pat, they're going to switch sides here. So I'll bounce out of this room right now and uh, we'll see what happens in game two. Uh, I'm going to mute the mic really quick and uh, I'll be right back for game two. So uh, see everybody in.